So welcome everyone to the session on react higher order components in this particular video We are going to talk about what are higher order components? What are their benefits and how to create them? The focus of higher order component is to ensure the reusability of code when we are working with multiple components There are scenarios when some part of the component is reusable So let's say we are making some asynchronous data call and this data call is there calling the same APIs for multiple components so this part of the code is reusable so we may extract this out in a common component so higher order components are focused towards making them reusable and reduce the kind of redundancy in your code just like a higher order function what higher order component does is it takes a component as an input and wraps it inside another component and give it as a output so we'll see how this particular scenario works. How are we able to take an input parameter as a component and wrap that inside another component and pass as a output. So let's start with the practical implementation of higher order components. In this particular scenario, what we are going to do is we are going to create two different components, which is employee journal details and employee salary details. So let's say I'm working with employee management system and they are different kind of components, which is required by different kind of users. One of the user is my manager who's interested into the basic details of an employee. Another kind of user that we have is someone from the finance department who's more interested into the financial aspect of my employee. So let's create two components, one for this financial user and one for the managerial user. The common part in this particular component is the way we extract the data. So we'll be creating a common function which gives you the entire set of key value pairs which are required by both these components. So let's try to bring this scenario into the picture. Let's import the first object react from the react library. Then let's import react dom from react hyphen dom. So this object will let your react interact with the dom elements. So what we'll do next is we'll first render some dummy element which is react dom dot render and we'll say okay render a h1 tag containing hello world and this component has to be rendered inside document dot get element by id and the id of my element is root so from the html find the element with the id root and render this h1 tag over there now let's create the common function which can be used in order to extract the data for my component. So let's create a function get user details and this particular function return me a object. This object contain key value pairs. So let's say some name. I'll have my young. some age. Let's say 30 then some designation which is developer. We can have some salary details, which is 100 and some bonus aspect. So the bonus aspect is 10. So here we have designed a function which gets you some common data. This data need to be used by both the basic detail component and the salary detail component. So now what we have to do is we have to create two different components, one for the financial user and other for the managerial user. So we'll use classes for the same. So I'll say employee basic details extends react dot component so this component need to have a constructor and inside constructor we'll call for super keyword and then what we want to do next is set up the state equal to the data that has been extracted from get user details function. So now whatever we get from get user details is the part of the state variable. Now for the basic user, I want to render some details. So I'll say render and inside this render, I'll return some JSX. So we'll say return a dev containing a h1 tag saying employee name is equal to this dot state dot name again I'll just copy this particular line of code and I'll try to display the age as well as designation 
so we'll say and over here let's put designation h so we have our first basic component getting rendered now let's copy this code and create another class for the financial user so this particular user has to do with the financial details so what we'll do is employ financial details same things has to be done in this particular class the constructor is being called the super keyword getting called then the state getting data from this function called get user details but the data that we have to render over here is different we need to render age salary so we'll have salary and bonus so we'll quickly update these state values to be salary and bonus this dot state dot bonus so now what i would like to do is i would like to render these component in my application so let's copy this line of code from line 4 to the bottom and we'll say over here we want to render both the component we'll remove this h1 put some brackets inside this bracket i'll put dev inside this dev i'll first render my basic details so this is how we are putting up the component for the basic details next i want to render the financial detail component but yeah before that let's put a horizontal line break so we have hr and then we'll put this particular component so we'll go and look for the output from this particular component so let's go to the browser and we have these two components getting rendered both the components are displaying certain data which comes from the same data source but yeah the components are displaying different data so that is the only difference that we have between these two components so let's get back to the code and see what part of these components are reusable so if you try to compare these two components what we can see over here is that certain part of these two classes are same the only different thing that we have inside these two components are the rendering part of these application so we are just having a different kind of rendering and most of the code is still the same we have the same code to call the constructor to call the super keyword and then to extract data for the state variable so next we'll see how to create a higher order component and extract away the common part of this particular code so what we'll do next is we'll take out this jsx from the function because this jsx is different in both these components so we'll create a separate functional component for these jsx so i'll just copy this and i'll create a new component called function employee basic details functional and this particular functional component will return me some jsx so let's just return this jsx so since this is a function i have to put curly braces like this and i'll copy this entire stuff into this function so similarly i'll create a functional component for the financial detail as well so i'll just copy this I'll copy the JSX of this financial component and I'll place it over here. Now we have created two different functional component for the employee basic details as well as the financial details. So we have to update the name for this particular component. I'll say financial. So these are the functional component and being a functional component, they can take data from their parents using props. So I'll put props inside these function and I'll expect this data to come as a props so i'll say props dot name props dot age and props dot designation so we'll just update it with props let's copy this and paste it over here and similarly for employee financial details we'll copy this as props and the data is extracted from props for salary as well as bonus so we'll have props sort bonus and props sort salary so now we have two functional component which contains only the rendering part of the application since all the other part of the components that we have created earlier were same 
next we'll create a higher order component which contains the common part of this particular class based component so let's create a simple function higher order components this higher order component takes a component as an input so we'll just define a input component which says wrapper component and inside this function it will return another class based component so we'll write it returns class extends react dot component and this react dot component contain the common part of this particular code so we'll copy the constructor paste it over here then it should have a render function so we'll say render we are going to say that we are going to return the wrapped function or the wrapped component that we have received so i'll say wrapped component so i'll pass the state data to these wrapped components using three triple dot operator and i'll pass this dot state to the wrapped components as a prop state and will return it so now we have a wrapped component what we need to do next is we are going to remove these class based components so i'll just remove this class as well as the class that we had for the basic details so if we look into the details of implementation now we have a common function which is get details we have the uncommon part extracted away in terms of two different small wrapped components which is employ basic detail functional and employ financial detail functional and we have a higher order component which takes one of this component as a input wraps it around a class based component pass all the state based data to this particular wrapped component as props and then it renders those components so how can we use this higher order component to render this basic as well as the financial details we can create a components let's say where employee basic details component is what we require we'll call for the higher order components and we'll pass this employee basic detail functional component to it so what would happen is this particular employee basic detail functional component goes as a wrapped component to this higher order component and over there we'll have a class returned out of it which will contain a constructor then a state initialization is there the data might be extracted and this particular component will be replaced over here in wrapped component the state will be available as a props and this entire component will get the entire state data as props and the data would be rendered so similarly we have to put props over here as well so in order to create the financial component we have to copy this line of code and we have to do similar for financial details as well we'll just copy this financial detail functional component place it over here and then out of this particular wrapped component or a higher order component we'll extract employee financial detail component so we just copy this particular employee financial details over here and this was the earlier component that we were expecting in render dom so we'll just copy them now let's get back to the browser to see the output so now again we have the same output let's try to update some name of this user in order to ensure that the things are working fine and the updated code is running so i'll just place mayank gupta and you can see that the things has been updated so now we have a higher order component which takes a wrapped component as a input and returns a class based component out of it this class based component takes this wrapper component pass the entire state data as a props data to this particular component and render the desired output and this way we have reduced the amount of code that is required in order to create components we have extracted away the common part of the code which is to get some data to create the state variable call the constructor call the render function so in totality now the amount of code has been reduced the number of lines which were common has been reduced to a fewer number of lines and this is a work of higher order components so that's it on higher order components if you like this video subscribe to my channel